Security operatives of the Joint Tax Force Operation Delta SIG, in collaboration with Tantita Security Services Nigeria Limited, have set ablaze an intercepted vessel carrying barrels of stolen crude oil in the Escravos area of Delta State. The vessel, allegedly owned by a Nigerian registered company, was heading to Cameroon with their cargo on board when it was apprehended at an offshore location with a captain and crew members on board. Shatter the vessel. So they sent someone on board to take us where to load. So we don't know that's what he wants to load, but we just followed instruction. So he took us to a jacket. Okay. He took you to a jacket. Okay. To load, but uh, we couldn't stay there for long. We just left there. When I called my boss, that this is what is happening there. So my boss said I should leave there. So now, now on our way going back to our position of anchor. So, Tantita boys, Tantita security, not cross us. According to the Executive Director of Operations and Technical at Tantita Security, Captain Warred Enisuo, and the Commander of the Joint Tax Force Operation Delta Safe, Rear Admiral Olushegun Ferrare, the oil cargo was illegally sourced from a well-jacketed offshore in Ondo State with no valid documentation at the time of the arrest. The said vessel was operated in stilt mode for the last 12 years. The discovery was the latest in the series of disturbing findings by the Tantita Security Services Nigeria Limited, a security outfit owned by former militant leader government Ekwebe Polo, a.k.a. Tom Polo, and contracted by the National, National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited. On assumption of office of the current Chief of Defense Staff, General C.G. Musa, he reiterated the resolve of the armed forces and indeed the whole of the stakeholders within the area to continue the fight against criminalities in the Niger Delta area, against our common patrimony, and this includes um, illegal bunkering, pipeline vandalism, crude oil theft, and the likes. And this has been achieved largely in synergy with a host of stakeholders, which I have listed earlier. Uh, most importantly, we have at the front end our partners who provide the intelligence for us to carry out our kinetic functions as the armed forces. Uh, the whole idea of destroying the vessel is to send a strong message to all would-be investors in illegality in Nigerian waters that this is what they are going to face if they so wish to do this type of business. And it doesn't end here also. The government will do all it takes our security forces will do all it takes to further bring you to book, you the individuals that cannot sponsor these type of missions. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.